effortless. A bit of sweet. Shake. Fresh. These are all words I could describe this makeup look. So I want to call this makeup look as a love makeup. Uh, as always, I'm going to start with a corrector. This is from Bobbi Brown. I'm just going to put this the back of my hand. I always make sure my under the eye area is completely moisturized. So I already put eye cream and sunscreen on. Just uh, take a little bit of product and simply apply it with this brush very lightly. And I'm using my fingertips and just dab, dab, dab. Today I'm using a foundation but I want to use a little bit amount of it. And I'm going to mix these two foundations. Uh, this one is from the O. This is a new one and um, it's a Forever Skin Slow 24 Hours Wear Skin Caring Foundation. Such a long name. I got the shade 1N. But the shade is very lighter than my skin tone. I love this sheer and glow finish. I want to just mix this product with the foundation I have, which is slightly darker than my skin tone because my skin became a little bit lighter because I couldn't get the sun that much the last couple of weeks. So this shade, um, Espa Pro Taylor Bigelow Foundation in the shade Deep. So I'm just going to use this. Just one pump of this product and a little bit of the oil and I'm going to mix these two guys to make my shade because I'm not gonna wear foundation hold my face I'm just gonna put my foundation just center on my face I make my own foundation shade so I'm going to apply with this short brush Because I'm gonna wear very strong lips, so make sure you conceal around the lips to look lip makeup look very clear and a little bit of my forehead and a little bit also my nose and my lips as well. So I apply the foundation on the center of my face. And I'm going to use my fingers tip to put the foundation into the skin nicely. Using a fingertip is very helpful to get a natural look and natural glow as well. Because um, the natural oil from your fingertips will make your skin glowy and you will look. If you dab all the base makeup with your fingertip, you will find that like Oh my god, this is very natural, glowy look. So I just always like using fingertips to do my base makeup. And the temperature on your fingers is warm, so it's just easy to blend as well. I'm gonna move to the lips straight away because it's gonna be very clear skin with strong, bold lips. So I want to make sure my eye makeup and blush or any other makeup would matches with this lip color to make a balanced the makeup look. So I'm just gonna wear this lipstick first. So today's makeup look is inspired by this lip product. This is from EM Cosmetic. It's the Infinite Sleep Cloud in the shade Love. This is a brand by Michelle Fan, which is a very famous YouTuber. I love her personality and their brand is amazing. I've tried also lip gloss. Also, I want to make another makeup video using the lip gloss. And, and this lip product is different from other lipstick. I mean liquid lipstick, which I've used. 
um, so far because it's just like very easy to control. I remember she said she put the color into the lip primer. So the texture and formula is very comfortable and silky, not too dry and not too sticky. I just love this texture, formula and even the color. I'm just going to make a full matte lip with this product. If I use a liquid lipstick, I always have struggled to define my the upper lips. But this one is very easy to control, so I don't need any lip liner to define my lip line. I can just simply use this product to get the bold, strong lip. I'm gonna move the blush straight away because I want to see how the blush comes out and to balance with my lip makeup. So. I'm gonna use this Glossier Cloud Paint. I made this blush swatch before, so I'm taking this, the shade Dawn. This is like a beautiful orange sunset color. I think this shade matches with the red lip very well, so I pick up this color. This is very intense orange color, so just make sure you use a very teeny tiny small amount of this. And I'm going to take this shade, my cheek area, and I'm gonna connect with my temple as well. And I'm also taking the color to front cheeks, and then connect all together. I think I could add more color, so also I'm taking a little bit of this, starting of the side cheeks. So I finish my blush makeup and then I'm moving to eye makeup. For eye makeup, I'm going to take one of the shades in this palette. This is from Zoeva. It's a caramel melange eyeshadow palette. It's really high pigmented products. So I'm going to take this um, Start Salt. This is like a warm orange brown shade. So I'm going to take this color to my whole lace. Slightly adding up the shade because it's very high pigmented products. So I want to make sure I make it natural. I'm going to take this shade along my lower lash lines. I'm going to brighten the inner corner of my eyes using this um, shimmery highlighter. This is from The Balm. I'm going to take this champagne gold shimmery highlighter. A little bit on my nose ridge. So next I'm just going to curl my lashes. Today's makeup look is very simple but clear skin but I want to get a bit of dust going in which will be very messy eyelash look so I'm going to use two different mascara today so one is from Kiss Me this is to hold my lashes and another one is um, from Maybelline it's a Total Temptation mascara and this is for Master lashes and get more volumes. If I wear this very thick and heavy mascara straight away, my lashes can't hold that up. So I want to make sure to hold my lashes with this mascara because this Kiss Me one holds my lashes very well. So I'm going to wear this Kiss Me mascara first. And also I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes. I'm just gonna let it dry so during that time I'm just gonna do my eyebrow makeup. I'm just gonna use this um, eyebrow powder from Skin Food and the shade to grey brown. And I'm going to take this um, just medium brown shade which is almost running out. Before I'm just gonna brush my eyebrow backward and forward.
and then brush them again and I'm going to take this brown mascara from Kiss Me to make my brow more like natural brown because I changed my hair color after brushing with this brow mascara and I'm also brushing them out to make sure it coats the shade very evenly So for highlight, I'm moving to this MAC one. This is Extra Dimensions Skin Finish in the shade Whisper of Guilt. This is such a very subtle golden shimmery highlighter. So taking this um, brush, if I wear the highlighter with a very big brush, my skin look very naturally glow. Because it's more like mixed with my blush makeup or contour makeup, so it looks more natural I think so I'm just going to take this big brush and and this part as well and a little bit of forehead and the nose and chin as well I want to come to a small part of my face so I'm gonna use this back eyeshadow in the shade Soba and just gonna contour the end of nose to give a little bit of more contour and look shorter and I'm also gonna contour my cupid bow it adds more dimension on your face and makes your face look more structured. So mascara is drying up, so I'm just gonna take this Maybelline mascara again. The final step is blush again because I want to add more color on my face again. So I'm taking this MAC um, powder blush in the shade Peaches. And I'm going to take very big brush because I want to put the color very widely. So this is the Real Technics um, brush. I don't know what the name is called but the number is 100. So taking this and I'm going to apply the brush area and connect it to the temple and a little bit forehead it's gonna make my makeup more like lively and a little bit of chin as well So this is my completely makeup look. Clear and fresh skin playing with bold red lips just really in a modern way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye!